Hey guys, do you ever, have you ever been like walking? You're just walking down the street or a sidewalk or something and something that distracts you, maybe someone calls out your name or you're looking behind you at something else and you just keep on walking though. And then when you look back forward, you smash into a pole or a glass door or you hit the shoulder of somebody else, you run into them. Has that ever happened to you? Because it definitely has happened to me. So what I've been doing lately is I just got a new Bible what I like to do is get new translations, and this one is a CSB, Christian Standard Bible, and it's a day-by-day -day chronological Bible. And so what I'm trying to do is really go slow through the whole Bible and just really grasp it. And it seems like every time I do that, uh, there's a new theme that I just pick up on. And this time, it seems to be just parallels from the Old Testament to the New Testament, things that just like seem to match up. And I'm like, whoa, it's really cool. So today, I just want to talk about really quickly about um, when Lot, you know, when the two angels come to Lot and tell him, hey, you got to pick up, you got to leave, we're going to destroy the city. And one thing is, what, what is, what does the angels tell Lot when he says, get your wife, get, get your daughters and go? He says, so if you go to, uh, it's in Genesis 19, verse 17. It says, flee for your lives, do not look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. So one, the key word there is don't look back back what happens as he as they as they flee now if you know the story you know that lot's wife you come down to verse 26 it says but lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt and that parallels when i was reading um, luke 9 and it's verse 62 so basically verses 57 through 62 jesus is talking about the cost of following him and a lot of people make up excuses oh well you know let me bury my dead or or you know um i will follow you but let me go back and say goodbye to my family but then jesus says no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of god it really strikes me um because if you just turn around it's like he's saying you're not fit for it and when i'm looking at this with lot's wife she became a pillar of salt. It's like, what does that mean? And you dig into it, and basically it's like your past life, your sinful life. Are you looking back to your sinful life, or are you constantly looking forward to the Lord Jesus? And even Jesus says, you know, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service of the kingdom of God. Well, if you're having a plow, like they say, if there's a plow, you want straight lines. But if you look back, you might start wandering off. Or like I said at the very beginning, of this video i says you know have you ever been walking and you look back and and you you hit a pole or you run into somebody else it's because you weren't going a straight line you were you're veering off to somewhere else but that's the same with our, our lives and our sinful lives our past lives because we are a new creation in christ so are you you really need to think about it and it convicts me because sometimes I, I feel like i'm stepping back and i'm looking back at my own sinful life but we can't we can't uh, we're going to stumble and we're not going to be fit for the kingdom of god so we got to continue to keep our focus on the lord you know otherwise we're not going to make it we're not going to get in we're going to be disobedient you know the angel said don't look back lot's wife was disobedient she looked back turned into a pillar of salt you know and died so where are you with your spiritual lives guys are you continually looking back on your old lives seeing where you were do you, do you crave your old life or are you craving the life of jesus and continuing to follow him you know, as Jesus says, pick up your cross daily and follow me. So are you guys doing that? So something to think about, something to dwell on, and just really give it some thought, guys, because I know I am, and it does convict me as well. So keep your focus, guys, on the Lord. Get into your Bibles daily. All right, guys? So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully it's encouraging. And until the next video, I love you guys. Peace. I'm out.